Hey everyone, it's Michael here at Home Health Success Academy and you are watching our Home Health Marketing Mistakes video series. And in this particular video, what we're talking about is not creating notes, okay? So have you ever uh, walked out of a meeting, right? And you said, oh my gosh, that, that went amazing. That's, that's some amazing stuff right there. But then all of a sudden you get back into the office and then you said, what's the name of that administrator that they shared with me? Or uh, what's the name uh, that social worker or what really was that time that I was supposed to have a meeting with them for the follow-up or all these different things or what was that phone number <laughs> okay so typically per study says that what we learn today 75% of that we will forget by tomorrow so that's actually a real study that was created so that means you can only absorb and remember 25% of anything that occurred in one day um, but then as days go by, it keeps on changing. So, you know, it keeps on lessening and lessening and you're only going to remember certain aspects, you know, things that actually were remarkable or stood out. And so, you know, I want you guys to understand that note taking is one of the most important things that a marketer, anyone should be doing when it comes to marketing out there, right? And so your note taking skills is very important. So whenever I go into a meeting, I always have a notepad with me. You know, I have stacks of, of yellow pads, you know, in my office. I carry four or five yellow pads in my bag. I would rather carry a, a um, extra yellow pads, those, those legal pads, than my computer around with me. All I need is my legal pads and my cell phone and a tablet, and I'm actually a happy, happy, happy marketer. Right, but I take a lot of notes, right? Because it's very much important. And also when I'm meeting with people, if they see that I'm taking notes in front of them, okay, they can see that, you know what, this guy actually means business because he wants to take notes and remember. Now, of course, I'm not gonna have my head down the whole time I'm writing. When they're telling me information, I'm just writing, just looking at them, having the eye contact, but asking the questions and writing their answer down. It doesn't matter if it's gonna be on you know, level with the lines of the notepad. It's a matter of me actually showing that I want to take notes and it values, you know, it shows a value to them, right? So I already know what are the top 10 questions that I'm going to be asking, you know, in that first presentation. I'm already going to ask them the typical stuff, you know, what are, what are some major reasons, you know, that you feel that the agency you're working with can improve themselves on or it would be something that would be amazing and beneficial for you. You know, so typically with that one question, I know that they're going to give me three or four answers, right? I'm going to write those down because guess what? My presentation will be based out of that or my follow-up will be based out of those type of questions and information that they share with me, right? I want to be able to take notes. The next thing is if you're not taking notes, you should start make, taking notes. But then we take our note-taking skills to the next level, okay, when we're doing this, when we're teaching people to market. How do we do that is we create a black book, right? Whether you have that black book or something where you write all the major information down from, you know, what are their likes? You know, are there particular items? Like, for example, if I bring them some danishes, like today, for example, I went to see a new client and I actually brought them, you know, one of my favorite things that I give out a lot is um, you go to Panera Bread, they have one of these ring danishes, right? It's a, it's a ring that has a cherry danish, uh, apple danish, and just cheese danish in it, right? And it's a, it's a full ring. It costs really cheap, $8.99. I don't mind sharing that with you guys, but it's a nice, you know, 12 inch pizza, you know, size looking item, right? So for $10, it's very, very cheap. That's cheaper than me buying a box of assorted items from Panera Bread, because if I ordered a box, each item is gonna cost me between $1.50 to $2.99. And of course, you're gonna spend with a higher one, so a box of 10 items is already gonna cost you somewhere around $30, rather this one right here is only less than $10. So you wanna be mindful about your cost as well. But going back to taking notes, when I bring this in, I said, you know, I hope you enjoy this. And they say, and they say, oh, thank you so much for bringing this to me. You might be asking, what, you know, what is something that you really enjoy, right? And if they say something, you know, I love donuts, I'm gonna write that in my notes that they love donuts. I'm like, other than donuts, what else? Right? They say something like, you know, I love bun cake. I'm like, really? I love chocolate bun cake. What do you like? And then they'll say what the flavor they want. I'm going to write that in the notes because that's going to go into the black book of what they enjoy, what they love. If they start saying that I love healthy stuff, granola, guess what? I'm thinking Trader Joe's. I'm thinking Whole Foods. 
on, on to do a follow-up if I revisit them. Okay, take notes, it's so important. The next thing that goes with the notes is where you put it, where you can actually share it with the rest of the company. So this is something that you guys should implement is creating a CRM, using a CRM uh, company. Doesn't matter what it is, there's a variety of companies out there that's cheap and it's expensive. Whichever you guys wanna be able to use, it's not what you use, it's if you're actually using it that's important right there. So what a CRM is allows everybody to be aware of what goes on. The reason a CRM is actually perfect is because sometimes you are not gonna be the one visiting them always. And if somebody else wants to follow up with you, they already have all the information. They don't have to say, hey, Michael, you know, tell me about you know, Gina from ABC Rehab Facility. What do they love? What do they like? I'm saving time because I as a person can go in there and automatically find out you know, what did John over there, when he visited and he marketed, what did he discover? I already know a basic profile of that person. That is what a black book is. That's what a CRM does, okay? You must be able to have these things available. So I take notes, then I transfer my notes into my CRM, right? That allows me to share with the whole team so they're aware of the whole thing. They know who are the main contacts. They know how to be able to follow up. They already know what I did the last time I visited so that they don't repeat the same thing or give away the same exact thing. So if I already gave the educational-based marketing material to this physician about the three different G codes and how they can actually bill regarding the uh, plan of care that they actually provided for the patient, I don't want the next marketer or the administrator or the DON giving that doctor the very same exact thing. They can actually confirm and say, hey doctor, you know, did you enjoy the information that Michael gave you last week about the three different G codes that you can use in regards to your billing? And he can say, yes, I actually enjoyed that. I'm like, do you have any questions that we can follow up with that for you and help you out to explain it more to your biller? And by the way, doctor, let me give you the information about our medication reminder program. This is amazing information and I just wanna make sure we touch base in a quick 30 seconds what it is. You see what I'm trying to get here? Follow up is important, but the notes will make your follow-up even better. So start implementing that, start creating notes. That is what's gonna make you guys stand out. If you guys have any more questions, make sure you reach out to us. Our goal is to help you create a successful agency. This is Michael with Home Health Success Academy. Stop by, take a look at 10xpatientreferrals.com for more information. Once again, home health marketing is easy if you know what you're doing.